Hey, Barbell Air was cycling strong, so I came to the SMP booth and talked to Nick Lowe about the saddle. Now, lots of you have had questions on the SMP saddle, so I kind of asked him to just do a walkthrough of the saddle. So if you're looking for a new saddle out there, you'll know kind of what the features are about their saddle and what makes theirs different than other saddles out there. So Nick Lowe, walk us through the SMP saddle and what makes it really cool. Yeah. So, uh, as you can easily see from, from the shape of these kind of saddles, it's completely different from the traditional saddle you can see you can available in the market. And the main features, uh, I mean, all these saddles, they follow the same philosophy, and there are some exclusive features you can find in it. And, okay, shape is completely different. Okay. First of all, all these saddles are 100% handmade in Italy, and covered by four international exclusive patterns. Okay. The first pattern is the central channel, the complete cutout, starting from the back up to the nose. And the big benefit you can get is through this cutout, you can avoid any kind of pressure uh, in the perineal area. And in the perineal area and in the genital parts. And for ladies and gentlemen as well. Awesome. Same saddle for guys or for Absolutely, they are okay. all unisex. And especially this part is very important because when you are sitting on the bike, especially in a very upfront position, yeah. very aggressive on the handlebars, here is concentrated all pressure in the genital and perineal area. So this is the most important, the crucial point where to avoid any kind of problem related to, to this issue. Right. And another, another feature is nose dropping down. Why? For the same reason, because usually a normal saddle is flat, right? But in this way, going down in this way, you can even avoid it, you can help avoiding all the full pressure on this area. Awesome. Another thing is the rail. Usually a normal rail is two separated pieces on the back and just one piece on the front. Right. Our consumption is completely different, it's the opposite. Why? So because it's just one piece here, a complete piece here, and open on the front. With a traditional uh, rail, on a traditional saddle, the problem is when you ride, the saddle rolls a little bit on the side. And the problem is you are like changing your position of a little bit every time. It means Position is not stiff, and you lose a little bit of power every time you take. And with this kind of consumption, the saddle is much more stiff, so it's very stable, and your position is definitely. You fix one, and this is it. Another important thing is that the rail is the longest available in the market. Therefore, you can adjust for enough. Yeah. And this is one of the main reasons why these kind of saddles are really appreciated by the bike followers. Many countries. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, even the materials are very particular, exclusive. Why? The padding, for example. Uh, this kind of padding, we are the only company in the world which uses this kind of, uh, how to say, uh, elastic, expanded elastic which provide a very good benefit. Well, when you sit on the saddle and you make pressure with, your, with the weight of your body, this kind of this kind of padding it goes back in the same position every time. So it's, it provides the best elastic memory available in the market. This is very important because sometimes the saddle falls down or modifies his, his own shape. That's very bad because when you find your own position, you must keep it. So, and this material is fantastic. Awesome. Even the base is very particular because we, we don't use polypropylene or plastic, but we use a very special kind of nylon. It's called nylon 12 and it's charged with the carbon fiber inside, so it's much more flexible and it doesn't modify the shape as well. Awesome. And so, these are the do you have to get your uh, sit bones measured to make this saddle fit, or is it a one size fits all? No, we have different models with different dimensions and different level of padding. Uh, we don't have we we 
have a different philosophy compared with our competitors. We don't have computer systems to predict what's the right saddle based on some data like height, weight, and whatever. So at the end of the, the process of the steps, da, 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 you fulfill, this is the model for you. We have a different system. Uh, our philosophy is based on test saddles. Test saddles? Yeah, of course. Okay. And that's the main point. Of course, we have some some systems, let's say, some information to narrow it down. Yeah, narrow it down the selection of saddles, where to orient, and the, the choice of the customer. So, it's very important the support from the dealer. You can narrow down, as you told me, and you focus on two, three different models based on the features of the, of the customer. Let's say the, the distance between the ISCA to cross this. And in order to, to choose this, we, we suggest to, uh, to focus on the pen size, the waist size, because there's, in 70% of the cases, there's a direct uh, relationship between the distance and the waist size. So, in this way, you can select some models. Okay, let's test the models, the dealer, okay, how to choose it, and only the road test is, this is the most honest way to understand what's the right model for a person. Okay, awesome. So, what he's saying is they don't have an actual testing system like a lot of companies do. They want you to test through your dealer, get a few different saddles, try them out, but they can narrow you down by usually asking some questions about your waist size, different things to that nature, to get you on the right saddle then you start to figure out what works for you. So I hope you like this segment. I hope that answers a lot of the questions about the SMP saddle. And uh, if you've got any more questions, get on their website, start to look it up. But get out there, ride your bike, and keep cycling strong.